Hi, Damien. Hi. How are you? Very fine. Enjoying Thank Brazil? You. Yes, a lot. First time? First time. I arrive on Sunday and I will leave, unfortunately, on next Sunday. Unfortunately. <laughs> Damien's not going to be here with us on Expo uh, in September, but we're talking a little bit about what we're going to say in the, the event. And we were talking about transparency in media in, in Brazilian market. Uh, with your experience, how do you can help uh, improve this problem here in Brazil? Um, I think there, there are several, several options because um, we had this issue in France, of course, uh, like in every market, talking about programmatic. Is, is, I think the link is very easy between programmatic and transparency. Mm -hmm. um, in France, we, we, we separate two kinds of um, transparency. Transparency of costs and transparency of strategies. Um, it was a surprise even in France. Uh, at the beginning, in my mind, in our mind, we, we, we were thinking that the, the main point for an advertiser was transparency of costs. And finally, we realized that the, the main point was transparency of strategies. And advertisers wanted to understand what their trading desk or agency um, were doing with their, with their budget, where they, where they bought, uh, why, what price, uh, with what format, with etc. etc. And that was the main point. It was a big surprise, to be honest, uh, even in France. Yeah. And they, I'm sure that they, 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 the importance of this point is the same in every market, like Brazil, yeah. because we have other offices also in Malaysia, in, in Dubai. And this transparency of strategies is very important for them. So uh, did this uh, take you guys to a next level on strategies for the market? What are the, the main strategies that you're doing over right now in France? Uh, GEMD is doing, I mean. To tackle transparency or globally? Uh, in business, generally. In, in business, there are different things. Um, the, the first one is developing new channels for programmatic, for example, on TV. Uh, we already do TV all over the world. But we are talking about addressed TV and customized TV. And it's brand yes. new, even if in USA. Everyone thinks that it's common in USA, but it's only 10% of the, of the investment in, 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 in US. So, so it, it's, a, it's a good way of development. Second one is uh, about also digital out of home, or the mm -hmm. screen, digital screen you can find in the street, in the supermarket, in the gym, in the, gym, in the gas station, in everywhere. Yeah. So now we can buy it. Uh, in programmatic, so that's a new way to do branding and, and hyper-targeted, geo-targeted um, branding. Okay. So the first point. Um, the second point is um, about uh, education, because we, we, we launched in January in, in, in Europe um, a training session called Program, uh, Programmatic Academy by Gamnet. And uh, we, we organize training session for advertisers, but not only. On also for agencies and publishers, because we realized that they, there were, they were a, a real need to understand what is programmatic, what we can do in programmatic, what we can't do in programmatic, uh, how it works, what is the ecosystem, uh, is it worth internalizing it in-house, in fully or, or partially. And Almost so a consultancy. Almost yes, a yes, almost a consultancy. We, we, we about consultancy is very interesting because it's a it's a very important point in France. So we we started, for example, to a, a, a Monday basis um, fee um, compared to to media fee today, for yeah. example. So it's a, it's a, it was a little revolution in France. Um, but you need to explain w what kind of um, profile and and media traders and account manager are working on the campaign to, 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 to sell them like a man, on, a ba on a man day basis. So. You mentioned uh, publishers are involved in this, yes. this education uh, part. How can you help publishers, Brazilian publishers as well? I think I you're doing something on France that you think yes. we can bring to Brazil as well. Yes, of course. In, in France, we, we, we started it this year in, in 2018. Um, we call it audience extension. Uh, and we, we started it with, with two publishers for the moment, but it's growing, it's growing month after month. We, 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 we started with the, with, the, with the analysis that they, 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 are, they are limited in terms of inventory. Okay? That means that if a publisher wants to sell campaigns 
to direct advertisers. Mm -hmm. he, he can't sell more than in inventory. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we imagine some mechanics to help them to, to sell more. And we, we, can, we can identify the people they, they touch on their website, the visitors, and then repeating a message on another message, summarizing the message, uh, outside of this website. That means that they, they, we can help them to, to increase their, their income, their budget, by, in average for the moment, by 15 to 20, 25 percent. That's great. Yeah, that's great for us, for, for us and for them. Sure, of course. It's almost a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> we can, of course. Damien, thank you for the thank interview. You. Thank you for the invitation. E a gente continua.